रेडी हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग सो वेलकम बैक एट एग्जाम एग्जामपुर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ह्यूमन सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम दिस टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज देर आर सेवरल क्वेश्चन देर आर सेवरल क्वेश्चन विच आर आस इन द एग्जामिनेशन विच मे बी रिगार्डिंग आर बी सी इट मे बी रिगार्डिंग डब्ल्यू बी सी इट मे बी रिगार्डिंग एनी थिंग यू विल बी एबल टू क्लिक दैट आंसर just after this session because we have kept all the questions which were previously asked in ssc so let's see who all have joined here we have hr so good morning good morning hr and i also want that you should have a wonderful day today then here's abhishek hello abhishek how are you then sharma ji is here so good morning everyone without delaying the lecture let's start with the first question the first question is which of the following are warm blooded animals now let's see who gives the answer which among us the following are or i'll say is warm blooded animal what is warm blooded animal if i talk about ourselves we know that no matter it is cold no matter it is hot our body is able to maintain the temperature isn't it we have a constant temperature now we are talking about the same thing but here there is no option like humans Let's see who is going to give the correct answer over here. And Priya has also joined. Hello, Priya. How are you? What would be the answer? Which among us the following are warm-blooded animals? The question is from CGL 2011. And HR is saying, I think A. And don't worry, don't worry. Your answer is correct. It's good that you have again given the answer in the first go. and that to you are the first one to answer this second one is priya to go with a and that means you all are correct here the correct answer would be whales see again i am telling you if i talk about these warm blooded animals we can take our example as well fine here what i am saying if we are humans whales we all are able to maintain our temperature that's why we are considered warm blooded if i talk about cold blooded animals they have that particular temperature whatever belongs to the surroundings fine so here yeah so kashi has commented something and you has just taken your message back kashi have you written something okay so here the correct answer was whales let's move forward with the next question to which of the to which group of blood a universal recipient belongs now we are, we are talking about universal recipient now what is it we will be discussing about it first of all let's have the answer hr again you are going to be the first one or will it be priya or it will be kashi vignesh who would be the first one to answer this to which blood to which group of blood waiting 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 a universal recipient belongs universal recipient so now hr is again the first one but hr has said that sir answer would be c <coughs> oh so this was the point no issues kashi but what would be the answer for this one so priya is with d that is ab group sharma ji is with c kashi waiting for your answer as well kashi is with d so here we are having 50 50 choices ha huh? sama singh c sama singh d so let me discuss if i am talking about blood first of all what is blood blood is a fluid connective tissue in a body which is having a ph value of 7.4 this means this means blood is basic in nature that's true now if i'm talking about blood i have already told it is a fluid connective tissue it is actually if i talk about its blood group they are classified into four parts that is a group b group then o and ab here if i talk about o it can give blood to anyone that's why o is universal donor but if i talk about ab it can take blood from any of the group that's why it is universal receptor now the question was what question was asked about the universal recipient so which will be the correct answer the correct option would be your option number d that is ab group now you must be wondering sir there is something which we say o positive o negative a positive a negative then 
ए बी पॉजिटिव ए बी नेगेटिव एंड इन दिमिलर मैनर इफ आई टॉक अबाउट बी सो इट वुड बी बी पॉजिटिव बी नेगेटिव ना वॉट इज इट सो फॉर दिस वील बी वेटिंग बिकॉज वी हैव वन मोर क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस देन वील बी हैविंग डिस्कशन अबाउट इट फाइन सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड नाउ विद द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन RBCs do not perform aerobic respiration because they do not contain what we are talking about respiration what is that if i talk about respiration process in our body in the humans we are taking in the oxygen or rather i'll say we are taking the whole air actually in which oxygen is also there carbon dioxide is also there so breathing in and breathing out process now when we are breathing in after that time before breathing out there are some of the things that are going on in our body in which i'll talk about aerobic respiration or we can talk about an anaerobic respiration where we will talk about atp that is adenosine triphosphate those atp molecules we'll be having discussion about it so let's have a look at the answers first so priya is with a that is mitochondria and sharma ji has also given the answer a hr has given answer a that is mitochondria cool so this means our first lecture was worth it was of great importance because we understood there mitochondria is what mitochondria is actually known as power house of the cell what is it known as it is known as power house of the cell because it was actually generating energy which was helpful isn't it in what form it was in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate now we are asked about respiration part now since we are talking about respiration that means we are talking about mitochondria over there because without mitochondria it is not possible so rbcs do not perform aerobic respiration because they are not having mitochondria if mitochondria would be there respiration was possible since it is not there that's why respiration is not possible so here rahul kushwa is also given answer a and yes rahul you are right it is known as the power house of the cell so option number a would be correct let's move forward let's move forward with the next question blood fails to clot while flowing in the blood vessels because of the presence of dash now let's see it's as in the chsl then deoldc then metric level not only this it, this question has been asked in many of the examinations it plays a significant role let's have a look at the answer then we'll be having detailed discussion let's see who is the first one who is going to give this answer blood fails to clot while flowing in the blood vessels because of the presence of what is it heparin is it prothrombin is it hemoglobin or is it hyridin so kashi vignesh is the first one to answer this and a is the option which is given by kashi then hr is saying sir it would be c hemoglobin okay ankit malviya is with heparin then priya is with a ankit malviya has given already the answer that is a option sharma ji is with c okay so there is the confusion between a and c isn't it let's have a look at this heparin option many of you have given the correct answer that is heparin heparin is very important part in our body which is doing what which is actually not allowing blood to clot if blood will clot what will happen in the vessel itself it will create blockage and if it will create blockage blood circulation cannot be done and there is a possibility that we may die at the same point as soon as it clots so in order to prevent blood from clotting there's a important important component that is present in a blood that is heparin so heparin is the one which is preventing blood from clotting so blood fails to clot why because there is a presence of heparin uh can donated blood clot sir yes kashi donated blood can also clot how it is going to clot let me explain see what happens there is a blood group i'll just tell you about this everyone please have a look at the question which is asked by kashi so hello ishan namaste please have a look kashi has asked me sir if we donate blood to anyone can it clot yes it can clot how if i'm talking about blood groups there are antigens and antibodies fine thank you abhishek for the same what i'm saying if i talk about the blood groups there are antibodies and antigens now 
सिंस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दी ब्लड ग्रुप लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल आई टोल्ड यू ओ इज अवर्सल यूनिवर्सल डोनर डेट इज आई एम राइटिंग हियर यूडी यूनिवर्सल डोनर एंड ए बी वॉज यूनिवर्सल रेसिपेंट नाउ लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल हेलो एलमा वेलकम टू दी क्लास इफ ओ इज इफ देर इज अ पर्सन हु इज है ब्लड ग्रुप ओ एंड ही रिक्वायर्स अ ब्लड ना वॉट एपेंड काशी टोल्ड काशी विग्नेश टोल्ड आई एम हैविंग दी ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी एंड आई विल डोनेट दी ब्लड टू दी नीडी पर्सन ना वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इफ काशी इज हैविंग दी ब्लड ग्रुप ए बी ही डोनेट्स दी ब्लड टू दी रिक्वायर्ड वन हु इज हैविंग ब्लड ग्रुप ओ वॉट विल हैपन देअ इन दिस कंडीशन द ब्लड विल एक्चुअली मेक क्लम्स एंड दी वेसल विच इज प्रेजेंट ओवर देअ हियर बिकॉज ऑफ दी क्लम्स विच आर क्रिएटेड जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द अटैचमेंट ऑफ द ब्लड एट दैट टाइम देयर ब्लॉकेज विल बी क्रिएटेड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वेसल नाउ वॉट आर दीज वेसल्स दीज वेसल्स मे बी कैपिलरीज आर्ट्रीज वेन्स वॉट आर दीज इफ आई टॉक अबाउट वेन्स दे आर कैरिंग दी डी ऑक्सीनेटेड ब्लड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट आर्ट्रीज दे आर कैरिंग दी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड सो इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट दिस वी मस्ट चेक बिफोर डोनेटिंग दी ब्लड what kind of blood group that particular person is having it is very important ya yeah, elma please come in please come in you were quite late huh okay so here the correct answer was heparin and i guess that particular part is clear with vignesh so vignesh is that clear we must be aware of which particular blood group can donate the blood to whom again i am saying if i am talking about a it can donate the blood to a and ab group If I talk about B, it can donate blood to B and AB group. If I talk about O, it can donate blood to anyone AB, AB or O. If I talk about O, oh, sorry, if I talk about AB, it can only donate blood to AB. So from here, it will give you the clarity. Fine? Okay, cool. So there is another question. Hemoglobin contains the metal what? This question is from SSC Constable 2012, and the options are copper, molybdenum, iron, magnesium. So Ashvi has joined us, and uh, Priya has given the answer first. That is iron. Then HR is with iron. Abhishek is with iron. Priya is with iron. Elma is with universal donor O. Uh, she was telling about that question. Now, yeah. So you all are correct. The correct answer would be iron. Now, what is this hemoglobin? Let me tell you. If I talk about the blood, in that we have RBCs, that is red blood cells. In this red blood cell, hemoglobin that is present, it is doing what? Blood's color is red. Blood's color is red because of the pre uh, presence of hemoglobin. And this RBC is actually doing what? It is actually helping in the transportation of oxygen. This is asked in the examination. RBC does what? RBC helps in the transportation of oxygen. This hemoglobin, which is present there, because of the presence of hemoglobin only, our blood is actually red. And everyone is requested to kindly like this session and share it. And thanks, Abhishek, for the same. Kindly like it and share it as much as possible because this is going to be very, very important for the examination. We are discussing all the questions which are asked in different, different SSC examinations. So here, the correct answer was iron. The next question is life span of RBC of men is what? Life span of RBC of men. Now you must be wondering, sir, why you are asking about men? It must be common in men and women both, isn't it? Shreya, waiting. First, tell me the life span of RBC of men. Then I will say why I am asking only about men. So Rahul Kushwai has said, sir, it would be a hundred and twenty days. Kashi Vignesh is also with a. Then. Abhishek is with A, Ashvi is with A, Ankit is with A, Priya is with A. Since everyone is with A, so I'll go with A. Yeah, Ilma, HR, everyone is with A. Cool. You all are correct. Here, it is actually 120 days. Now, let me tell you about this RBC. What is RBC? We have just discussed it is red blood cell. We'll be having discussion in the detailed manner. If I'm talking about blood, blood is divided into two parts. One is plasma. Another one is blood corpuscles. 
blood corpuscles now in this blood corpuscles uh equality that <laughs> yeah that's true right to equality abhishek isn't it yeah so i was talking about blood corpuscles it, in it includes rbc wbc and the platelets here we are talking about rbc it is doing what it is helping in the transportation of oxygen in our body wbc's are hr wbc's are white blood cells white blood cells they actually help in maintaining the immunity now ilma is saying that wbc is a policeman that's true ilma wbc is also known as policeman why let's have a discussion on this now uh, it protects from the diseases that's true and kashi is telling us that plasma is 90 percent water absolutely correct now what i was saying here i was talking about wbc it is known as the policeman of our body why the reason behind it is just imagine the scenario wherever you are living hr is in tamil nadu kashi vignesh must be at some other location i am at some other location but we have a common thing what we have police stations everywhere we have police everywhere why in order to prevent ourselves from those thieves decoits and all those particular unwanted elements so that we can live in a safe and sound manner isn't it now if i talk about our body what can happen virus may enter bacteria may enter fungi may be there there may be several type of microbes which will actually try to play with our body i am talking about the playing that is in the negative manner it may create several issues coughing may be there sneezing may be there so yeah what is going to happen wbcs will create immunity in such a manner they'll say hey where you are going just get out they'll be preventing your body from all those microbes that is they're just acting like a policeman that's why it is known as the policeman of our body and our mother gives us chavan prash in the uh, winter season why in order to maintain our immunity over there uh abhishek is asking something sir was corona virus affecting rbc see if i talk about wbc it is about the immunity and no doubt whenever we are talking about immunity wbc would be covered there now obviously since we are talking about the oxygen's level degradation that's why we can directly relate it with the rbc's as well fine so what i was saying blood corpuscle is having rbc wbc and platelets and this is the time duration of rbc that is 80 to 120 days so that's why we are saying that the lifespan of rbc is 120 days but i was talking about discussion in the man itself let me tell you its count varies its count varies if i talk about men it's around 5 million it's around 5 million or if you want the exact figure, I'll say 4.7 million to 6.1 million. But in the females, it's approximately 4.5 to 5 million. So this is the difference. That's why I've written this so that clarity can be given. Now, now let's move forward with the next question. So it, its answer was 120 days. The pH of human blood is dash. Now, I want everyone to be correct over here because we have discussed this in the last class where we were discussing digestive system, isn't it? Let's have a look who gives the correct answer. This was asked in CGL 2011. Who will be the first one to answer this? Abhishek Elma, HR Kashi, who would be the first one to answer this? The pH of human blood is dash. Kashi has given the answer first that is D. Ilma is saying uh, skin cells be direct. Yeah, that's true Ilma. See, these cells actually keep on dying and keep on regenerating. Because, and apart from that, there is cell division process as well, isn't it? So HR is with D, Sharmaji is with D, Ashvi is with D, Priya is with D. Uh, and Ilma is given the answer 7.4. Uh, Rahul Kushwa is with D. So you all are correct. You all are correct. Absolutely correct. Its pH value is 7.4 and hence we can say that it is basic in nature. Now both the things are asked in the examination. The 7.4 value is asked many times. Apart from that it is also asked. Our blood is acidic in nature, basic in nature, neutral in nature, what? Apart from basic, there may be the option of alkaline. It is one and the same thing. 
will be studying about it in the chemistry part if you get the answer alkaline or basic that is one and the same thing fine so rahul kushwa abhishek you all are correct yes ilma basic in nature so let's move forward now in which vertebrae oxygenated and deoxygenated bloods get mixed question is from cpo 2008 who will give this answer saliva is acidic in nature true correct ilma my question is in which vertebrae oxygenated and deoxygenated blood gets mixed now i will give you a hint then you will be able to give the correct answer we are having our heart with four chambers right auricle right ventricle left auricle left ventricle isn't it now what is going to happen the blood which comes into our heart is deoxygenated blood that is oxygen level is low but when we talk about lungs they are actually helping in addition of the oxygen and then oxygenated blood actually enters into the heart and then flows into our body this is the whole process now the thing is that one of this um, option would be having three chambered hearts that's why this oxygenated and deoxygenated blood actually mixes so that's why i'm asking this let's see who, has, who all have the answer ilma is with amphibian that is option b hr is with b sharma ji is with a ilma is with amphibian priya is with amphibian then rahul is actually thinking about it then yeah in open circulation blood will get mixed that's true kashi i'm going to tell you about this uh mammals just think our heart is actually four chambered isn't it and we are in the category of what in the mammals na so how can you say that kashi is with bird but maximum of you has given the answer in the first go and that's true that is your amphibian so amphibian is going to be the correct answer now let me tell you one thing we are actually having closed circulatory system it's actually two types i'll tell you one is closed and one is open now what's the difference between these two what's closed what's open in our body we are having closed circulatory system this means we are having these vessels pipe like structures it may be artery it may be veins or it may be just have a look now what's the difference between them capillary is actually very very thin if i talk about this of uh, veins they are actually having more space in comparison to this capillaries but arteries are having larger space fine so blood is actually circulating through this part where in the vent of uh, where in the veins actually it is deoxygenated blood in arteries we are having oxygenated blood but in the open circulatory system it is actually directly flowing without the presence of vessels that's why they are known as open circulatory system and where the blood can get mixed. So here yeah, open tissues are in direct contact with the skin. Yeah, that's true, Kashi. So this was the difference. Uh, yeah. So MV, you can take any of the example, any of the example. You can take the example of a frog Elma over there. Frog. Fine. Frog would be, would be coming in this category. Okay. If I talk about reptiles, you can take the example of snake over there if i talk about mammals you can take the example of dogs over there fine uh, so all these things are clear now L let's move forward now and yeah bird was left everyone is aware of word bird no need to give that example it can be sparrow it can be crow it can be anything fine so here there's a next question the blood groups were discovered by whom this was asked in ssc si 2010 Uh, Priya, you want to ask about reptiles? You can take the example of snakes over there. Fine. Uh, yeah. So the question is, the blood groups were discovered by whom? Was it Altman? Was it Landestiner? It Was it Losh? Or it was Ronald Ross? Who was he? So Kashi Vignesh is the first one to answer, give answer B. That is Landestiner. Apart from Kashi, then we have Rahul Kushwa over here with answer B. Priya is with B. Abhishek is with B. HR is having answer B, 
then Ashwis with B, Priya is with Lennistina, that means Ilma, Rahul, you all are correct. You all are correct. The correct answer would be Lennistina. Now, let me tell you about him. He was Karl Lennistina. His full name is Karl Lennistiner. And Karl Lennistiner was the one who has discovered these blood groups. Which are they? Blood groups? That is A, B, O and AB. These are four blood groups. And I was talking about positive negative, isn't it? We are having next question for the same. Then we will be understanding about this. So here, yeah, you all are correct. That's good. Next question is, the term RH factor refers to what? This was asked in SSC SI 2010. Let's see who will give the correct answer. There are four options over here. And what I was saying, I will be telling about positive negative. In the starting, I have already told. Here we will be explaining that. We will be having that discussion. So, Ilma is saying Zamidar. Where is it? What Zamidar, Ilma? Others, waiting for the answer. This one is the important one. Why? Because this is asked in one way or the another. There are many questions which can be created from this part. Kashi Vignesh has given A. That is Reese's factor. Ilma is with A. HR is actually having doubts, sir. Will it be renal factor? I guess HR, you are relating with the renal artery, I guess. Am I correct? <coughs> Sorry. I guess you must have read kidney or something like that yesterday or day before yesterday. That's why you are relating that answer. Now, Om is with A. Here, Vignesh is saying, sir, it is derived from rhesus monkey. Good, 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 Vignesh. This was the next point which I had to keep. So here, everyone is with A, Rahul Kushwa is with A, Ilma is with A. Since everyone is with A, I'll go with A. The correct answer is Jesus Factor. Now, how this name came actually? Vignesh told me something. Sir, it, was it monkey? Yeah, HR is saying definitely. <laughs> okay, no issues. I totally understand. It's the human nature where we can relate the things from one way or in, from one thing or another. But HR, it is, don't forget, it would be Jesus Factor. Now, how this name was derived? There was a monkey, there was a monkey that was known as, uh, I'll just rub it, yeah. So there was a monkey which was known as Rhesus Macaca, Rhesus Macaca. On this monkey experiment was being done and there was a protein, Ilma, Rhesus Macaca monkey, fine. So their experiment was being done and there was a protein, fine. If that particular protein is present in our body, we are considered as positive. That is RH positive. What is RH? RH is actually rhesus. Fine? Rhesus factor. So here, this name derived from this monkey's name, rhesus macaca. If that particular protein is in our body, we consider ourselves as positive. If it is not there, it, they are negative. We already discussed about the blood groups. Karl and Stiner has already discovered what? There are four different blood groups. Which one? A, B, O and AB. Now, after the discovery of this RH factor, what happened? Here came positive and negative concept. So, here A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, O positive, O negative, AB positive, AB negative. So, in this manner, this positive negative approach came. Fine. And it gives you the better clarity. At that time, we discussed that universal recipient was what? It was actually AB. And universal donor was O. But that was not full concept. Full concept will come from here. Let's see who is going to give the correct answer. I am asking you now again. The options are 8 this time. They are not 4. Tell me. Among us, these eight options, which one will be the universal donor? Let's see who is going to give this answer. You are having these eight options. Which one is universal donor? An important one. Ilma is saying Kala Monkey. You will be getting pity pity, I am telling you. <laughs> yeah. So what I am asking, among us, these eight options, you have to tell me. Which one will be universal donor? Elma is saying, sir, it will be O positive. So, there is one option that is O positive. Okay. 
Is there anyone else who is going to give this answer? One option has come O positive. Uh, Jagdish, uh, Jagdishan is asking, so please tell which topics are important for the bio and chemistry. Jagdish, see, it actually depends on which particular examination we are talking about. If I talk about bio and chemistry, there are several topics which are important. The questions are asked from the cell, questions are asked from the nutrients. Apart from that, questions are also asked from the hormones part. So, questions, you can just have a look. We are discussing all the questions in which we are having several uh, examinations which are being covered over here. So, you can just directly relate with it. Tomorrow, we will be having marathon session in which we will be having discussion about it in the, uh, in the, uh, I'll say, total form. That is, we will be having each and every discussion on that. So, we have several answers over here. Sarika is with O positive, Om is with O positive. So, there are different options which is O positive and O negative that is coming. Here, I'll say that O negative is the correct answer. This is actually the universal donor. Why it is universal donor? It is because universal donor means it can donate blood to anyone. Ha, that's what I am saying. Just for SSC JE, Jagdishwar, if I'll say now, they have actually given you all the per, all the topics, whatever is there. But what we can do, we can just have a look at the previous year questions and just have a look over there. What all things are coming? Because the thing is that it's not only bio or physics or chemistry that is coming. It is whole GS that is coming there. Fine. And among us that we can see that more questions are from bio part than physics and then chemistry. So, yeah. So, here I was saying that O negative would be the universal donor. Why? Because it can give blood to O positive also, O negative also. A positive as well, A negative as well. Similarly, B positive and B negative. And in a similar way, AB negative and AB positive. Now, what about O positive? It cannot give blood to, I am taking it red color, it cannot give blood to O negative. This is the issue. That's why it is known, it is not proper universal donor. Please, please note it down that O positive is not universal donor because it cannot donate blood to O negative. I'll give you a scenario over here. There was a movie. I don't know how many of you have watched. How many of you watched that Sultan movie? In which uh, Salman, Khan, Salman Khan and Anushka Sharma was there. Uh, I'll do one thing. Jagdish, tomorrow we'll be having marathon session. I'll be bringing exact figure. Fine, exact figure. From which topic there were how many questions? Fine, that would be easier for you. Cool? So yeah, what I was saying, if you have would have seen that particular movie, in that what happens? Acha, you are O negative. Great. So you are universal donor. You are universal donor. Yeah, O negative is actually rare in case. And see, we have uh, Jigidishwar over here. You are among us those unique ones. That's great. So in that movie, what happened? Actually, the son of Salman Khan actually needs that O negative blood and it was not possible to just get it. So that's why there was some conflict and all. We'll not go in detail with that movie, but that's important. That O negative cannot give blood to O negative. Moving forward. The normal RBC count in uh, adult male is dash. Now we have discussed this question, isn't it? If I talk about RBC's count in adult male, we had discussion on this part. Let's see who is going to give this answer now. Uh, Elma is saying something, uske bete ka blood group prayer tha, that's why. Yeah, correct. Hello, Nena. Hello, how are you? After a long time, uh, and quite late as well. So, we will be having samosa party from Nena. Elma, you can just collect the money and just give the party. Sarika is saying, sir, I am B positive. So, you are always positive in all the aspects, huh, Sarika? Cool. So, HR is with B, that is 5 million. Om is with A, that is 5.5 .5 million. Udbhav is with A. Abhishek is with 5.5 .5, okay the nana is with a uh that's why salman boy ne <laughs> yeah wow ilma wow what a concept man huh? so uh we have jagdishwaran here with 5 million okay so we have all the options here but we are having actually doubt in a and b so let me give you the clarity it would be 5 million and on an average i've already told you it will go from 4.7 to 6.1 but on an average, we will be taking 5 million. And if I talk about the females, it would be around 4.5 to 5 millions. So do not forget, this one is the important one. 
fine so this was asked in cgl 2008 before moving forward let me tell you we have an example app where you will be having live paid courses with test series apart from the job alerts are there admit cards examination dates you will be having free examination pdfs and practice set questions many things are there you have to do what you have to just go to the play store type example over there click on the install button click on open part just type some basic details and start using it now the most important thing is we have pt examination that is coming so for that you need not pay a huge amount for the test series just pay rupee 1 how use the code pt99 and your price will drop from triple nine to just rupee 1 yeah moving forward yeah correct hr correct so there's a next question the fluid part of the blood devoid of corpuscles is called what now this is from ssc so 2006 what would be the correct answer acha rahul now even google knows me uh p i am knowing you you are knowing me that's sufficient now everything goes on by its own pace we have a mantra which mantra anugachhatu pravah we must go with the flow no matter it is rahul lilma hr whoever it is just go with the flow fine and everything will come in the you know, sir aap thumbs up <laughs> i'll be asking for the thumbs up actually now this students crowd is quite more so from today we'll be asking for the thumbs up okay so hr is with b that is plasma nena is with a that is tissue fluid okay kashi vignesh is with c uh jagdish is saying sir plasma contains 90% water that's what true true it's true but let me tell you about this Elma is with Serum Institute. Neeraj Kumar, Neeraj Murari has said, sir, answer would be B. I guess. Okay. So Neeraj Murari, you are totally correct. No need to put the question mark over there. Let me tell you. If I talk about the blood, in the blood, we had a part that was known as plasma. Correct. Now what will happen if I remove fibrinogen from this part? if i'll remove fibrinogen fibrinogen with this part the left over part is known as serum so no doubt it is the part of the blood but what i am saying it is the if i'll talk about the blood now the blood is actually divided into two parts what one is plasma and another is blood corpuscles now i have already told you blood corpuscles includes what who can give me the answer blood corpuscles includes what we have discussed this one of the hint is platelets what are those other two things so here are two things which i am going to tell you one is this one and another is this one <coughs> waiting for the answer blood corpuscle is including what one i am telling you it is platelets other two are what see i am giving you hint as well along with the waiting 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 everyone because this is important this creates the confusion in the examination i want everyone to be correct over here the fluid part of blood devoid of blood corpuscles okay jagdishran is saying the formed elements kashi vignesh is saying sir it would be rbc wbc and platelets and yes that's true so elma is also with the same if i talk about this that is rbc wbc and platelets So please remember, it is what blood. If I am talking about hundred percent blood, so it would be in the ratio forty five is to fifty five. Forty five percent and fifty five percent. Ah, what has happened? Okay, HR is asking. Please don't spam. Okay. So here, what I was saying, if I talk about the serum part again, I am saying, if I just subtract the fibrinogen from it. and what is it it is actually helping in the clot clotting of the blood the left over part is actually known as serum fine now moving on the next question the rbcs are produced by dash now this was from metric level the red blood cells are produced by what is it liver hormones bone marrow or heart what is it waiting the blood cells rbcs red blood cells are formed from where kashi vignesh is saying sir it would be bone marrow 
माय मोबाईल सो मच ऑफ लाफ वाय एच आर देन एच आर इज विथ ओके राहुल कुशवा इज विथ सी दॅट इज बोन मेरो कूल प्रिया इज ऑल्सो विथ सी राहुल कुशवा इज विथ सी एच आर इज विथ डी एच आर इज विथ हार्ट हार्ट सिरियसली राहुल कुशवा इज विथ सी ओम इज विथ जी प्रिया प्रिया इज विथ बोन मेरो नैना इज विथ सी जयशन सिंग रेड रेड बोन मेरो या दिस इज इन डिटेल क्वाइट आई विल बी टेलिंग अबाउट दिस ऑल्सो सो यू ऑल आर करेक्ट उद्भव राहुल यू ऑल आर करेक्ट लेट मी टेल यू बोन्स आर बॉडी इज मेड अबाउट टू हंड्रेड सिक्स बोन्स वी आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट सी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एडल्स फाइन इन चिल्ड्रन देर मे बी अप्रॉक्स थ्री हंड्रेड वील बी हैविंग लाइट डिस्कशन वेन वील बी हैविंग आर डिस्कशन ऑन दिस कैरेडन सिस्टम हियर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दोज टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्स बोन्स विद इन दिस वी हैव अ पार्ट दैट इज नोन एज बोन मेरो बोन मेरो एंड हियर ऑल्सो इट मे बी रेड बोन मेरो एंड येलो बोन मेरो नाउ दिस इज इन क्वाइट डिटेल इन इन दिस डिटेल वी मस्ट नॉट गो बट लेट मी टेल यू हियर फ्रॉम द रेड बोन मेरो वी विल बी गेटिंग आरबीसी एंड फ्रॉम हियर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द व्हाइट ब्लड सेल्स एंड द प्लेटलेट्स fine so bone marrow is actually the correct answer but it is in quite detail so just for the knowledge purpose i am telling you it is not going to help you out in the examination they are not asking this if it has not been asked till now if it is asked you can directly click that see red red it's very simple to just get it fine uh oh is it so so hr you must upgrade it so here the answer is bone marrow next question which of the following is an example of a tissue now this was asked in metric level who can give this answer <coughs> who can give this answer elma is saying 207 in rithik roshan yeah if someone must be having one more hand then you will be saying sir it would be 307 ha huh? elma anything anything ha huh? <coughs> waiting for the answer i am saying Which of the following is an example of a tissue? Is it brain? Is it blood? Is it liver? Or is it stomach? Neeraj Murari is saying, sir, it would be B, blood. Priya is with B. Ah, uh, Elma is saying, sir, not upgrade. Must buy new one. Yeah, you can do one thing, na? That big billion day sale is going on. Why don't you go over there and just purchase it? So HR is with B. That is blood. Okay. Ah, uh, so Priya is with blood. Om is with blood. जगदीश ने सिंह सर इट मे बी डी डेट इज स्टमक ओके प्रिया इज विद बी उद्भव इज विद डी सो देर अ कॉम्पिटिशन डेट इज गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन बी एंड डी जगदीश एंड एवरी वन प्लीज रिमेंबर इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्लड वॉट इज ब्लड नैना ब्लड इज एक्चुअली फ्लूड सिंस इट इज फ्लूड इन नेचर ऑब्वियसली कनेक्टिव फ्लूड connective tissue and someone was saying that it may be stomach see stomach is actually organ you remember that part when i was explaining this cell when same type of cells actually combine together they form tissue many tissues together form a organ where your organ organ can be your liver your organ can be your stomach <coughs> then after the organ we'll discuss about the system that is your whole body fine so blood is actually fluid connective tissue so we can relate it from here blood is what it is the example of a tissue hr is saying sir salary will come on 1st october okay so you can do one thing you can just okay then what to say then we'll be having another sale and that time you can purchase just save the money for that fine so nena is with connective tissue कनेक्टिव टिश्यू या नैना सिंह सर हम वहां भी आ रहे हैं या यू कैन कम एनी वेयर यू कैन कम एनी वेयर सो हेयर द ब्लड वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज इट इज अ फ्लूड कनेक्टिव टिश्यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर मेजरिंग ब्लड प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड वॉट नाउ दिस वॉज आस इन एस एस सी सी एच एस एल अपार्ट फ्रॉम द डीईओ एल डी सी टू थाउजेंड इलेवन विल इट बी बेरोमीटर विल इट बी स्पायरोमीटर विल इट बी स्पिग्नोमेनोमीटर और इट वुड बी हीमोसाइटोमीटर हा राहुल आई हैव कोल्ड बट एल माई सिंग यू कैन जस्ट पुट इन वॉटर 
Elma, you seriously want petty petty? I'm telling you. Kashi, what are you asking? I'm unable to get that. What is Inka? So we have answers that is option C. Rahul is with C, Priya is with C, Kashi is with C, Neeraj is with C, Om is with C, Naina is with C, Ilma is with C, Udbhav is with C, Om is also with C. So you all are with C. So I am also with C. The correct answer is Figmo Manometer. Now, before moving forward with the explanation part, let me tell you if I talk about this barometer. Barometer does what? No doubt we'll be having its discussion in the physics part, but let's see who can tell about this. Barometer is doing what? Barometer. Do you know pressure? Something like that? Uh, Ajay, Kashi, you are working as a police constable in Tamil Nadu. Great. Cool. <coughs> so I was asking for barometer. Can anyone tell me about it? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Why barometer is used? Anyone? No one? Okay. So let me tell you, if I talk about this barometer is actually helpful in the measurement of the pressure. Fine. If I talk about hemocytometer, from the name itself, it is clear we are talking about what? Hemocytometer. Just try to relate it. Hemo. We can relate it with the hemoglobin. Cyto. We can relate it with the cell. Meter. The measuring instrument. So when we are talking about the measurement in the blood of what? Hemoglobin is there. Cells. Cells are present. So if I talk about its measurement, you can directly relate with the name itself. It would be hemocytometer. Sphygmomanometer, it is helping in the measurement of the blood pressure. If I talk about the blood pressure, blood pressure's measurement may come like this. 80 slash 120. It is systolic and diastolic. See, whatever we measure, if we are measuring, measuring the speed, we have 70 km per hour, uh, so and so miles per hour. But here we are having two readings. They are actually systolic and diastolic. And this is actually normal reading. If anything above it, is there it would be high blood pressure if anything below it is there it would be low blood pressure so here <coughs> yeah that's true it would be for volume uh -huh. and if i'm talking about barometer it is for the pressure which one atmospheric pressure yeah so all these things are done okay so hr is there okay okay fine 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 kashi okay so here sphygmo manometer was the correct answer hypertension is the term it is used for what hypertension this was asked in SI 2010. So we have several people over there. Some people are in the police. huh? Some people are working in several other organizations. It's great. <coughs> Transition. See, uh, there was a class. I'm just waiting for the answer, everyone. I'm having the discussion with... Uh, Yeah, so you can give the answer, I'm just telling you. If I'll just relate it, hemo. Can I relate with the hemoglobin, isn't it? Cyto. See, there was a word when I was discussing cytology in the starting of the bio part on the first day itself. If I'll write cytology, you can break it into the two parts. That is cyto and logy. Where logy means study and cyto, we are relating it to the cell. So study of cell was cytology. Here, hemo is related with the hemoglobin. Then cyto is related with the cell. Then meter. Measurement. So if someone is asking you how we are measuring these RBCs. Fine. For anything. So you can just directly say sir it would be hemocytometer. That is the device which is actually helping in its measurement. Simple. Got my point? Jagdishan, I guess you got this point. You can just relate it by breaking the names. Yeah. So there was a question. Hypertension is the term used for what? So Udbhav is with D. Ilma <coughs> is with D. Priya is with D. Others, because when I was explaining, I guess your comments just went there. So, can I get those comments again? Everyone in the super fast manner. Om is with D, Ilma is with D, Priya is with D, Udbhav is with D. Others. Okay. So, here, that's true. If I talk about hypertension, it is actually increase in the blood pressure. The word itself tells us hyper. That means increment. Increment in what? Hypertension. So it is actually the increase in the blood pressure. So increase in the blood pressure would be the correct answer. Next, hypoglycemia is what? 
नाउ सी हाइपर एक्चुअली मीन्स द इंक्रीमेंट हाइपर एक्चुअली मीन्स द इंक्रीमेंट एंड इन द सिमिलर वे हाइपो मीन्स द डिक्रीमेंट सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्पफुल इन द एग्जामिनेशन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो लेट सी हु विल गिव दिस आंसर हाइपोग्लाइसिनिया रेफर्स टू वॉट एच आर इलमा जिगिद्रेश्वरन यू ऑल वर करेक्ट ओवर देयर नाउ माई क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट हाइपोग्लाइसिनिया एंड एवरी वन हेज गिवन दी आंसर डी ओवर हेयर इज इंट इट सो प्रिया इज देयर ओम नो वन इज विद एनदर ऑप्शन हेयर काशी इज अगेन विद डी ओके सो एवरी वन इज विद डी इट इज एक्चुअली लो शुगर लेवल इन दी ब्लड हाइपो एज ऑल टोल्ड यू लो so this is the condition in which a glucose level actually goes very down but but nena you are also correct but what will happen if glucose level goes up if glucose level goes up and insulin level goes down if this happens it is just opposite case here there is a issue which is known as diabetes mellitus so these are actually <coughs> just opposite to each other fine so here the correct answer would be लो शुगर लेवल इन दी ब्लड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द साइंटिस्ट हू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ब्लड सर्कुलेशन फॉर दी फर्स्ट टाइम वॉज हु लेट सी हू गिव दिस आंसर नाउ यू आर ऑलरेडी रनिंग आउट ऑफ दी टाइम सो आई वॉट आई वुड बी रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर दी आंसर इन दी फास्ट मैनर दी साइंटिस्ट दी साइंटिस्ट हू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दी ब्लड सर्कुलेशन फॉर दी फर्स्ट टाइम वॉज हू क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम सीपीओ टू थाउजेंड थ्री या इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल ट्रू so what i was saying i was asking about the scientist who explained about the blood circulation for the first time please remember he is william harvey and kashi is the first one to answer this b priya you are also correct here the correct answer would be william harvey next question which of the following brings back deoxygenated blood from different parts of the human body to heart this is from cpu 2017 remember word deoxygenated we studied about it in the starting itself so hr is with b nena is with b you all were correct you all were correct i'm talking about deoxygenated blood please remember whenever we talk about veins they carry deoxygenated blood if we are talking about oxygenated that is carried by arteries now what we will do we will have this discussion in the with the theory part with the theory part in the evening so i'll be waiting for you all in the evening with the theoretical section of the same topic that is human circulatory system and that would be important for cgl we'll be having previous year questions of cgl over there from 6 to 7 in the evening sharp fine so we have another sir who will be taking class now so i have to go we'll be meeting you in the evening at 6 fine so bye bye everyone please take care and i'm giving you one of the homework question and this would be the homework question for you normally how many times a human heart beats in a minute this is from cpo 2017 and this would be homework question for you fine you have to comment this after the class in the comment section so bye bye please take care meet you at 6